Cebu is undeniably at the forefront of the Philippine growth story. The cityscape has transformed into a bustling cosmopolitan hub for business, while the countryside has evolved into an ideal leisure destination for a growing number of residents and tourists. Blazing the trail in real estate development is none other than Cebu Landmasters, a homegrown developer with over a decade of robust and diverse experience, not only in Cebu, but the Visayas and Mindanao area. The success of Cebu Landmasters developments lets them rise above as Cebu's number one local housing developer, according to a 2016 study by CBRE Philippines. It's not often that we have the opportunity to speak to a founder and chairman of one of the most successful real estate development companies here in Cebu. So we are very thankful to have you here on the show, Mr. Joe Soberano, the chairman and CEO of Cebu Landmasters. Sir, thank you so much for accepting our invitation to be here on the show. It's my pleasure and thank you very much also, RJ, for this invitation. Let's talk about looking back a bit more. I like how this project actually started because you didn't come in thinking of becoming the biggest or the number one local housing developer. You were just there to help actually your, your provincial hometown. Well, yeah, I am there in the southwest. No? That's my hometown. We picked this location which has an industrial base. It was this... Uh, one of the biggest shipbuilding company of the country. So I thought that there was an opportunity there and with a primary uh, objective to put some housing. I noticed there were already 2,000 workers uh, working in that place. So there must be that opportunity and there was no housing project. So we came up with this three hectare acquisition and with about 200 combination of houses and lots only, it got sold. So with that experience, I said to myself, hey, this is where I'm going. You had the, the foresight to see areas with large population but no housing to, to service these people here right now. That's right. And I call them our San Jose Maria villages, which is really in honor of my patron, which is San Jose Maria Escriba. And I also like the idea that here, uh, strategically, when you choose properties to develop, that there has to be a certain proximity to the main roads or the main highways. Am I right? It's something that uh, every developer would want, but I, I guess that what would uh, differentiate us, that uh, homegrown knowledge of what the market really wants, you know? And uh, location, while uh, good as it may be, has to put that source of what are the surrounding amenities. And even on the development itself, you need to add more of that uh, special sauce, no? more than what the market is expecting. That's my dream to provide homes for everybody who are in need, especially those who are in the lower or in the middle income bracket. That's, right. That's what we would like to always emphasize that they deserve the high-end market privileges or amenities that everybody should deserve. That's always been my attitude. And the other homegrown advantage what we also do is really uh, knowing how to deliver the projects based on the schedule that we have assured the market. And I'm able to do that successfully. In, that's why in 12 years, we're able to develop more than 25 projects. It's because we would like to deliver it as best as we can and as fast as we can, based on the target timetable that we have assured our market. We're able to do that because we target contractors who are able to deliver and we are monitoring them very closely. I have my own team who really monitors it clearly on a daily basis and even our people on the executive level has to be there. You know, our executives are there Eagle Eye literally. and, and I, I get to visit them personally, uh, see how things rise up, ground up. Cebu Landmasters portfolio features a diverse array of developments from groundbreaking residential subdivisions and condominiums for different socio-economic segments to state-of-the-art offices, to mixed-use buildings, and to hotels all under one roof. I am able to take pride on moving our so-called familiarity with the market to the other provinces or key cities of Bismin. I'm now in Cagayan de Oro. I launched a project recently which the sell-out experience was uh, pretty much what we have experienced in our projects here in Cebu. And because of that kind of credibility that we may have created, we have moved to Dabao City and we're launching another project by March. Wow. And so is uh, Dumaguete is waiting for our housing development. 
no, touching on the economic market and so forth in uh, Bacolod and in Ilong. So I guess this is what we take pride on that we started with just one project in Balamban, Cebu and we have mushroom and that to me is a landmark development which I, I feel that should take us to the next level and with that objective of you know really becoming the top local uh, homegrown developer not just for Metro Cebu but for Bismin as well. Well, uh, with all that you have on your plate, you're not only going to be a Cebu landmaster, but a landmaster of Bismin as well. Again, sir, Hopefully. thank you yeah. so much for your time. Thank oh, you so much yes, for having us yes, here yes. in Cebu. It's a pleasure. Glad to be with you here in Cebu. It's a pleasure, RJ. Yes. Taking pride in its homegrown roots and its advantages in real estate, Cebu Landmasters' expansion to even more parts of the Visayas and Mindanao gives an opportunity for more people to experience what building with you in mind truly means.